friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Tara Tom, the Insight Stylist, and in this series, I am answering your frequently asked questions to help you become a better version of yourself from the inside out. Today's topic is going to be all around cravings. We're going to get into the questions as far as what does a craving actually mean? Like what is your body trying to tell you? And how to deal with them or how I deal, dealt with it and how I did things to help lessen the effects of cravings and so that they can be manageable versus taking over your life. So let's get into the questions. What is a craving? What does that really mean? Like what is happening in your body when you are having these cravings? They can range from slightly a slight craving to something so intense that it takes over your day. I know if you've had some of those, you know how intense they can be. So there's two things. One, it could mean if you are detoxing and you're doing stuff to help your body purge um, toxins, whether it's pesticides, heavy metals, um, pathogens, such as viruses and bacteria, um, you could be doing things, or even if you were doing celery juice, what's happening is your body is letting go of these old layers, especially the liver. And as these layers pass, sometimes you get these strange cravings. I've had that happen to me. Um, and out of nowhere, I remember I was craving a hamburger or cheeseburger and while i was doing the, my 100 days of no fat which you can watch on the playlist on my youtube channel um where i documented 100 days where i didn't have any fat at all and i went through some strange cravings and that was one of them and i remember it being so intense and it was literally just my liver letting go of old layers now that could be one reason. Another reason that you could be experiencing cravings is your body is letting you know like, hey, I need some glucose. I need more potassium. I need more um, mineral salts. And those are the reasons why your body's telling you or you're having some cravings, that it needs these things. prevent these cravings, what can someone do? The biggest thing that I cannot express anymore to people when I tell them that you're going to be detoxing and you're going to be cleaning out your body is to make sure that you graze. And grazing is a method that I learned from the medical medium where you eat mineral salts, glucose, and potassium every one to two hours. That way your body is being supplied with the energy that it needs. So it doesn't have to live off of adrenaline pumped out from your adrenal glands. Adrenaline is very corrosive and it can intensify any symptom that you may have. And it's gonna hurt your adrenal glands if you're always running off of adrenaline. Now we are, the body is forced to run off of adrenaline if we don't have a steady fuel of energy. Which means if we don't eat every one to two hours of glucose, mineral salts, and potassium, it's going to have to work off of adrenaline. So I don't know about you, but I've been in a profession that not eating for many hours was almost like a requirement. It, there was no way to eat in between. What I try to tell people to do is pack some snacks, pack, especially pack fruits. Fruits will give you at least that glucose that you need. You need this glucose to survive. You need the calories. Most people who detox, most people who start to go plant-based or vegan or go healthy or are trying to convert to eating healthier, always focus on salads, um, lots of vegetables, lots of greens, which is great and all. That's a great source of mineral salts. But what they lack to put in their diet is fruits. And you need a lot of fruits because you need the glucose. The glucose especially is beneficial to your liver. It runs off of 
um, having glucose to heal. So make sure that you are eating every one to two hours and make sure that you're eating mineral salts, glucose, and potassium. And I will tell you that those were the things, that, that grazing method was really what um, saved me from a lot of cravings. What I noticed when I first started to graze was I wasn't hungry. I wasn't, it, it was a different concept to, to understand because I was used to eating when I am hungry. Like when I actually start to feel hungry, that's when I ate. And with this whole grazing method, I was eating based on time. And so when I was eating, when, I, when the time came around and it was one to two hours later and it was time to eat, I really wasn't hungry, but I was making myself eat because just to refuel my body. So I was eating smaller amounts and more often, and I noticed that I was never hungry. By eating every one to two hours, I know it sounds crazy, but you don't have to eat something huge or big. You can just snack on some fruits, have a banana, eat a couple of slices of apples with some dates and spinach, something like that. It doesn't have to be big, but if you just fuel your body, you'll notice that you're eating based on time versus when you get hungry. And over the years, I noticed that if I got hungry, that's when I would fall off the bandwagon. That's when the symptoms would kick in, like brain fog or fatigue, and I couldn't think of what to make, and I, or I was too tired to make something. And then you eat because you're so desperate, so you're just looking for anything to eat. And that's when I would literally fall off the bandwagon or eat something that I would regret um, or just feel terrible. So if you eat one to two, two, every one to two hours, then you probably won't end up being hungry. And just eat enough fruits until you are full. You don't, there is no specific amount or how little or how much you should eat. It's eat what's comfortable for you. And then your body will start to even out. In the beginning part, it may be a little bit of trial and error, finding out how much to eat, um, eating too much, eating too little, but just play around with the foods and then you'll find that your body will actually adjust because it has to adjust too because it's used to getting food every three to four hours or four to five hours in fact and so it wants to like eat a whole bunch and then you eat this giant meal and then you're full so you can't eat the next in the next hour or so. So eat knowing that you're going to eat quite often and judge that what that amount is for you and I promise you that will help to alleviate a lot of your cravings. Also another good thing is to drink water. Sometimes the cravings can be misinterpreted that you're actually dehydrated so making sure that you are on top of drinking water and getting in enough hydration throughout the day can also help to alleviate cravings. Well I hope this tip will help you as it has helped me throughout my journey and um, don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe if you are enjoying this new series. And don't forget, please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I am looking forward to answering them and help you make this journey a little less stressful. Well, you guys, until the next video, I'll see you next time.